bringing the joy, bringing the joy. Lord God Almighty, El El Elyon, El Shaddai, El Olam, God everlasting. We thank you for the new mercies that have indeed greeted us this morning. We ask in the name of Yeheshua HaMashiach, come Holy Spirit. Come heavenly dove with all of your life giving power, we do pray. Touch us, revive us, renew us for the week ahead. In the name of Yeshua, I do pray. All God's people say, amen. 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 I had a small epiphany last night as I read through the text in uh, First Chronicles about King David. The technical issues that were there that I was slowly exegeting, God, I felt heavier and heavier and heavier. And God said, what you have to bring is the joy. And the people need joy. So we know that God delivered the people of Israel and David because of his foolish mistake. But now let's bring the joy that God may deliver us as well, bringing the joy. And this morning, if you want to go back and read David, read it. Hundreds of thousands of people died, not because someone killed them other than God. So this morning, bringing the joy, let's bring the joy. The, the gospel of John is unique in that it is not like the synoptic gospels. It doesn't stick to a pattern. John brings out the spiritual elements of all of who Yeshua is. And if we just go into one chapter, you will see it. But this morning, we're going to bring the joy. For, let's go to the next slide bringing the joy, bringing the joy this morning, which is what we all need sitting in a society that weighs heavy on our shoulders. Yeshua, if you go to John 15, all of it is red. I am the true vine and my father, the vine dresser, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. Moving on to the next slide, because we're going to bring joy this morning. We're going to look at what our Lord and Savior said. While David had to live in a different type of joy, we have a Messiah this morning bringing the joy. I have called you friends. Think about it. There are many of you that sit this morning and think you are friendless. Yeshua has called you his friends. You have a friend that sticks closer than a brother. If you want some joy in your life, think about that friend that doesn't leave you, doesn't side eye you, doesn't talk behind your back, but comes straight to your face you what you need to know and has your back and then on top of that lets you lay out a prayer before his father with his name on it bringing the joy if you didn't have joy this morning understanding that yeshua has called you friend many in this world may not or they may call you friend and then you feel some kind of way as they go on and are with you Yeshua, I have called you friends as we're moving on to the next slide. I have called you friends, bringing the joy. If this doesn't make you happy, I dare say, I don't know how anything else will other than the son of the living God calling you his friends, not his enemy, but his friends. Then he said, you did not choose me. Hey, but I chose you and appointed so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. You're, uh, you have a friend, and on top of that, you didn't choose this friend. The friend chose you. Glory to God. What a mighty God we serve. What a merciful Messiah the Most High God gave us. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. That means you're not going to be empty handed. And sometimes the fruit we're looking for in this realm isn't the fruit that Yeshua was talking about. You should have a bundle of joy and patience and self-control and love. 
fruit that will last. The fruit in this realm does not last. But when you get to the higher heavens, you can feel the patience. You can feel God's self-control. You can feel the love and the joy. You did not choose this friend. This friend chose you. Glory, glory, glory. Get happy about the one who has chosen you, not those that have dissed and dismissed you, but the one who has chosen you. That's what David understood in that text. If you're going to put your hand, your life in anybody's hands, it should be God, because God's mercy is the one that will carry you through. God's mercy is the one that will not destroy you. God's mercy is the one that doesn't go behind your back, but comes straight to your face and says, I've called you, my friends. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And we're moving on to the next slide, bringing the joy, bringing the joy this morning. If you didn't have joy, you better catch it. Bringing the joy, bringing the joy of the most high God. John 15, 4, remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. If you feel like you are a standalone man or woman, you have missed it. You need to reconnect to the one who has called you, friend, and has chosen you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me, bringing the joy. Everyone here, you know what it is to remain in the Lord Jesus Christ, to remain in the one that sent the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Remain. Don't get up and run. Don't go hide. Remain in Jesus. Jesus is remaining in you. Jesus has not run from you or your bad attitude or sometimes that you can't tell the truth or sometimes you can't stand up and do what's right. Jesus remains in you. This is bringing the joy. If Jesus were to abandon us, what would we do? If you want to bear fruit, reconnect with what's remaining in you. Elect of God, chosen of God, those who heard the voice and responded from the eons all the way through. You were elected of God for such a time as this. Remain in Jesus. And Jesus will also remain in you, bringing the joy as we move to the next slide. Bringing the joy. David had to kill everything everything on the threshing floor and buy land to bring the little bit of joy in Israel after his mistake. You are already clean because of the word spoken to you. Nobody calls you unclean. You are clean. This is all out of John 15. If you have a little time while you're sipping tea this afternoon, go read John 15. It is all the words of Jesus bringing the joy you are already clean. Nobody needs to make you clean. The Presbyterian church didn't make you clean. The Baptist church didn't make you clean. The AME, the CME, you are already clean because of the words that the Lord Jesus Christ have spoken to you. And you know if the Lord has spoken to you and you heard, what does that make you? One of the elect of God. And those who do not hear the voice of the Lord, they're not hearing the Ruach Kakodesh, which is why I have said Last month and this month, if the Holy Spirit isn't knocking and talking, you should be walking. Everybody's not going to hear God's voice, but you are already clean because you have he heard the voice speaking to you. Not everyone is going to hear that voice. Do you hear me? Bringing the joy, bringing the joy. Shout, rejoice, dance. You have heard the word of God. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand the joy of the Lord, that is your strength. This ought to bring the joy of the Lord into the center of who you are. That you would say, God, I thank you. I thank you for your son. I thank you that I am a friend of God. Next slide. Still bringing the joy this morning. Bringing the joy. I have spoken these things to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. What a marriage. Marriage. You have the joy of Yeshua in you. And if you're waiting for your joy to be as big as Jesus's, oh, you missed it. Hey, <laughs> I've spoken these things to you that my joy 
to remain in you and that your joy may be made full. If your joy feels just a little empty this morning, we're bringing the joy because Jesus has spoken these things to us. And I'm just called to remind you that the joy of Jesus remains in you. That causes your joy to be full. If you have forgotten why your joy is on empty, go on over to that part in you that is filled with Yeshua. Don't give them, then no, you have joy that remains in you that makes your joy full. Doesn't suggest that your joy be full. Doesn't, you know, say, well, maybe. No, it is made full. Not on E. You didn't have to go to Sam's to get the best price on this joy per gallon is yours because of the finished works of the son of the living God. I have spoken these things to you that my joy may remain in you as we're moving on to the next slide, bringing the joy, bringing the joy. If you're going to bring anything today, bring the joy, bring the joy of the Lord. If you walked around this morning moping because of your condition, let it go. When God decides to do something, allow God to do it in your life. When God is telling you to be a better listener, be a better listener. When God is calling you to be for a time period, be quiet. The joy of the Lord is your strength. We have brought the joy this morning. God, I thank you for your mercy and your truth. Let this joy fill up the listening this morning them all the days of their life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen.